Now we will consider the muscles of the posterior compartment of the forearm. The brachioradialis muscle is a kind of a landmark muscle in that it marks the boundary between the flexors, the flexor muscles that are found in the anterior compartment and the extensor muscles which are found in the posterior compartment. The brachioradialis muscle has an origin on the humerus and inserts on the distal end of the radius. The brachioradialis muscle is a flexor of the forearm, particularly when the forearm is in mid-pronation. Here we have a better view of the muscles of the posterior compartment of the forearm. Here again is our landmark muscle, the brachioradialis. It appears that there are two muscles over here, but they are actually two heads of one muscle, the extensor carpi radialis. This is the extensor carpi radialis longus muscle, and it has an origin on the supracondylar ridge of the humerus, just below that of the brachioradialis. It inserts at the base of metacarpal two, which you can see right over here. The extensor carpi radialis brevis is the second head. It has an origin on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and inserts at the bases of metacarpal two and three. The extensor carpi radialis muscles are extenders at the wrist joint and will also abduct at the wrist joint. Here is the extensor digitorum muscle. It has an origin on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and distally it divides into four tendons which insert on the posterior aspects of the bases of the middle and distal phalanges. Over here and over here. The, uh, this muscle, as its name implies, is an extensor of digits uh, two, three, four, and five. And it is also an extensor at the wrist joint.